everybody. Welcome to another edition of His Turn, Her Turn. I would be the uh, His Turn part of the equation, Paul <laughs> Bryan, along with Lauren Fix, the car coach. Hi. We are in wonderfully warm San Antonio, Texas, which is much better On the than eighth day, <laughs> he created Texas. Well, let me tell you, and it's better than are. Portland, Maine, in the middle of winter. We're here to drive the brand new Kia Nero. Now this is all new for Kia. We aren't fiddling around. We aren't fiddling around. I asked, what does the name Nero come from? It was near zero, and we'll talk about that a little more in the car. Very interesting. This is a hybrid. This car is a lot more than zero. This is a pretty darn nice little car. Yeah, and the price point is good. It starts as low as 23000 New people are coming into the market. They're looking for bargains. You know, they're looking for cars that are affordable. This, this is affordable. From a, from a fuel standpoint, from an initial cost standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, and, and an operating standpoint. So this really does quite well. I think it fits a lot of bills. And I think he has done an, another great job. The big thing for them, for me, is always the warranty and the JD Power ratings. And yeah, but their warranty rocks. Oh, my my gosh, it's fantastic. Yeah. You know, let's take it for a drive and we'll come back and we'll give them our opinion. Okay, good. Right, let's do it. You know, Paul, I am not a fan of hybrids. In general, I'm never gonna own a hybrid. Unless it's like a diesel. That's my kind of hybrid. I'll take a 918. Okay, that's a different kind of hybrid. Uh, yeah, I would buy one. Okay, let's talk about the Kia Nero. And and I asked him, you know, first off, what is the story with Nero? And they said, well, near zero and then there's a something called a <laughs> I know. And then there's a Nero, which is an NIRO, which is some sort of clip that's in stainless steel that was what they used in boats and, and that's what they used to design the concept car in Geneva. Okay, what's in a name? I don't know, it's just sort of weird when you come up with a name like Nero. It should have some sort of value. So this is a global vehicle. They're gonna sell the same brand name everywhere, whether you're in Korea, South America, whatever country, continent, whatever. So that's great certainly makes it easier for the consumer to know what the heck they're buying. Uh, there's a lot of tech in this. The idea is to make this a functional millennial car, a car that you could get everything you wanted from fuel economy to taking it off-road. This would actually be a killer first car for a college kid. Yeah, it would be. You could put all your stuff in, because what do kids always ask for? Mom, I need 20 bucks for gas. I went through that twice. From a technical standpoint, visibility and so forth. Visibility, yes, thumbs up. Excellent visibility. Uh, we put our camera gear in the back and low lift, big wide hatch, so I'm really happy about that. Lots of storage capacity, um, but seating comfort. You know I'm gonna complain about something. Oh, did, did, here did it the, comes. Did, did the sun come up today? On the driver's side, you've got lumbar. Uh, is it comfortable? It's enough to get you around town. I don't know if I'd wanna go on a road trip from Buffalo to Orlando and back in it. Seating comfort on the passenger side, I think is subpar. It's manually adjustable. We're in the touring edition, which is the top edition. No lumbar, manually adjust everything and only the driver's seat gets I'm adjustment. okay. Are you okay? For the rest of us. I do like heated seats, air conditioned seats, heated steering wheel. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, the surfaces are what you would expect for a vehicle that's going to start in that $28,000 range. Of course, the entry level all the way down. If you want it like stripped out, I just need a car. You're looking at $23,000 hybrid that gets 52 miles to the gallon. Yeah. That's crazy. I think what you're getting is a car that's got good pickup because it's gas and electric. Um, it has nice brakes, great looking car, tons of cargo capacity. And from a technology standpoint, nav system, active cruise control uh there's so much it has a coasting feature as a coaching feature to help you get better fuel economy of course what you and i drive not a chance, <laughs> not a chance. Not a chance <laughs> no. <laughs> no 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 we're cracking through uh the back uh flatland we're what's cracking? yeah we're cracking we're cracking <laughs> we're uh out where Davy Crockett lost his moccasins. We're on them there oil fields. Yeah, we are. Actually, it's kind of nice because we've been on a lot of roads that, that have been flat, and it's nice to at least put a little bit of corner into it. One of the things that's really interesting about Hyundai and Kia, and they have a, a brother-sister relationship or an uncle and niece or something like that, that there's some common ownership there. And, and the... Uh, the interesting thing is that they have their own metallurgists and their own metallurgy shops uh, that are set up so that they can do their own studies. In addition to the pinch welds that we're, that we're very much used to in cars, uh, they also used like 50, 60 feet of uh, adhesive that you would use 
kind of like if you were doing a rivet and adhesive application of, of two metals to each other. Like in a high-end car. Yeah, exactly. Like in a Jaguar or a Land Rover. One of the things that, that happen here when you come out in Texas, when you go from county to county, I think that somebody's brother-in-law has a different uh, contract for the asphalt in each county that you go to. You got that right. Because some of the towns uh, that we come into, the roads are, are particularly quiet. Then you go into others where... Like well, the one we're on now. Yeah, boy, howdy. They're, they're, they're pretty honking it, loud. It's not the car. No. I'm enjoying this car an awful lot for driving. It. Uh, I, I wish that it would be available in all-wheel drive. Me too. They, they aren't going to make it for it. That's okay. There are still, you know, you can move into a different line within Kia if you want to get that. But for an entry-level vehicle, and, and, I, and I hate to use that term because it's like I'm qualifying my like for the car, and I'm really not qualifying. I like the car. There are a lot of interior uh, niceties and more room in this car than you might expect. Now, feel the difference in the roadway. Yeah. It's, it's different pretty, county. Yeah. Different city. Different brother-in-law. <laughs> hey, Jim Bob, you got some over that asphalt? <laughs> yes, I do. All right, bring it on by. Wow, are you going to get comments? Oh, boy. Hey, I am a Texan at heart. Don't t don't tell me that. And I am. I love Texas. I am a past world champion chili love cook. Texas. Past world champion one in Terlingua, Texas. What year? The real deal, 1983. Second place, podium finish this past November. So, if you want my chili recipe, just ask in the comments below. I'll send it to you. The other thing I think is we, we may have not told, and we need to, mm -hmm. is the remarkable success of this company. He has come a long way. And, and remember that there's some guys in Stuttgart right now, in the mm -hmm. Porsche factory, mm -hmm. and you own one and I own one. Yes, we both own and, German and those cars. And those guys are over there who are cheesed off because who leads the J.D. Power Initial Quality Survey? Kia does. These guys did. Yeah. So, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you, you got a lot of pissed off Germans over there saying, wait a minute, this isn't right. I think that uh, overall, I think you're getting a lot of car for your money, great warranty, great JD power results, which does make a difference. Lots of trim levels, great first car. What an excellent choice for a first vehicle. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when I think about the cars that a lot of kids have gone away to college in. Scary. And uh, when you're looking at a first year college bill of 50 G's or whatever, and then you take a look at a $23,000 car, you say, that's no brainer. We thank you so much for all of your subscriptions, your likes. Please share them. We love the shares yeah. to your friends, your enemies, anybody. He's at the Paul Bryan on Twitter and also the Motor Minute. Yeah. Right? And, and you're, I am, you're I, everywhere. I, I, I try to be. White you might, you never know where you might see me. I show up everywhere, um, but at Lauren Fix on Twitter, I'm posting things every single day. Also at Car Smarts, uh, I'm on Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube, or just find me everywhere on my page at LaurenFix.com, where we also share a Facebook page for his turn, her turn, and lots of cool cars and exciting news coming very soon and we thank you for your subscriptions your likes and yeah, your comments that's, that stuff couldn't happen without you and we, your acceptance of what we do so yes. thank you very much thank you very all much. all right uh, there's brisket uh, somewhere I, in you this know state. I, I see the pork barbecue he, no, I, 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 <laughs>